hey y'all i'm back with another video so i'm gonna finally show you guys what i eat in a day as a vegan you know everything plant-based um and honestly i never felt any better ever since i became vegan again like i feel healthier i feel more energized i feel good about myself so i'm really excited to show you guys what i eat in a day and hopefully you guys can try these things out for yourself um but yeah let's jump right into the video First thing in the morning, I always start off with my lemon and lime tea and I'm basically just taking hot water that I'm boiling in my teapot and then I'm taking some frozen lemon and lime. Usually like when I cut them up, I'll freeze the ones that I'm not using at the time just so it doesn't go to waste and um, I can use it whenever I want since it is frozen. But yeah, so I'm just putting it right in my little teacup. I'm going to pour the hot water in and then I'm also adding some agave just to give it a little bit of sweetness so it's not so bitter. And the reason why I do this in the morning is because warm lime water just has so many benefits. It contains a variety of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, potassium. All of these nutrients help to boost your immunity, improve your skin's health, reduce bacterial infections, aid in digestion. And that's just the lime, y'all. The lemon has a lot of benefits as well. So it also helps to aid in digestion, contains vitamin C, it acts as a detoxifying agent. It helps to cleanse the liver and flush out toxins. Lemon also provides electrolytes for the body. And as you can see, both lemon and lime have amazing benefits. And I do this in the morning just so I can feel better and so I can cleanse my body and just start my day off feeling good and refreshed. Moving on to breakfast, I'm keeping it simple this morning and I'm just going to use this pre-made smoothie from Daily Harvest. This is the mint and cacao smoothie. So it contains banana, spinach, cacao, cashew, peppermint, and chlorella. And basically, I'm just going to pop this in my ninja cup and I'm going to add some oat milk and I'm also adding my sea moss. Now, sea moss is great for a lot of different things. It actually helps to boost your immunity. It contains vitamin B2, vitamin B9. It also soothes the digestive tract. It supports your heart health. It helps to control appetite, boost your metabolism, fights infection, enhances thyroid function. So there's lots of benefits of sea moss. That's why I take this every day in my smoothie in the morning. And normally with the smoothies from Daily Harvest, you you would be able to put it back in the cup and put the lid on because it does have like a little hole for the straw. But I'm just leaving a smoothie in my smoothie cup because I didn't feel like doing all that. I wasn't going nowhere. I was just going to make the smoothie, sit down and chill. So... In this video, I also wanted to show you guys what natural herbs I take. So here I have burdock, kelp, and sarsaparilla. So first I'm gonna talk about burdock. So burdock is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antioxidant, and anti-cancer. It helps to cleanse the blood, it clears the skin, helps with eczema, and it contains calcium, magnesium, and potassium. The next one that I take on a daily basis is gonna be kelp. So kelp is rich in minerals such as zinc, iodine, magnesium, iron, potassium, copper, and calcium. It helps to prevent hair loss, it helps to stimulate hair growth, and it's great for your overall skin and hair health. Last but not least, I'm taking sarsaparilla. So this one is an anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, antioxidant. It helps to bind all of the toxins in your body and prepares them for removal. These are what the little capsules look like. Pretty simple, really easy to swallow, nothing too crazy. All right, so now I'm making lunch. So for lunch this day, I just had some farro, some broccoli I cooked in the oven, and some barbecue cauliflower wings. This lunch is honestly pretty simple. It's only gonna take you about 30 minutes. I know it kind of looks like a dinner, but listen, this is just what I felt like having for that day. So yeah, we just gonna leave it at that. But anyway, let me show you guys what you need. So I'm taking some frozen broccoli. You can use fresh or frozen broccoli. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to take these bird's eye cauliflower barbecue wings. Um, you can also make this from scratch if you wanted to, but this is what I'm using right now. 
Of course, you're also going to need some seasonings. I have nutritional yeast, some green peppercorn, some smoked paprika, some garlic salt, and some minced garlic. And then you also want to use some type of vegan butter. I'm using the Earth Balance brand. It doesn't really matter. Whatever vegan butter you prefer. And finally, you're also going to need some farro. This is the Italian farro that I'm using today. I got this. Well, you can. I think you can get this at like Whole Foods or Wegmans. And I don't really know where else, honestly. But that's where I got mine from. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know what farro is. So it's actually... A type of grain and it has a great source of protein it has fiber and nutrients such as magnesium B vitamins and zinc and it's just a healthier more nutritious alternative to white rice all right so I'm showing you guys how to make the broccoli first so I'm just gonna take some vegan butter that I melted and I'm gonna pour it on top of the broccoli so that way the seasonings actually stick to the broccoli so I'm using nutritional yeast, minced garlic, green peppercorn, smoked paprika, and garlic salt. And I'm just doing this to taste. So if you guys don't like these seasonings or want to use something else or cook your broccoli a different way, go ahead and do that. I'm just doing what I would prefer. Then I am going to put my broccoli on the same pan as I'm putting the cauliflower wings. And with the cauliflower wings, you literally just take them out the bag and just put them on the pan. So I didn't even show like me doing that because there was no point. Um, but yeah, I'm popping this in the oven for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, I did make my farro as well. So farro only takes about 10 minutes to cook. You just do it on the stove top. It's really easy. The instructions are always in the back of the packet. So this is what it looks like. I mean, I know you guys already saw in the beginning, but like this is my lunch. I hope you guys tried this out, especially the barbecue cauliflower wings. They're so good. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. A little bit after I had my lunch, I just went and grabbed a snack. So this is what I had in my fridge. These are the these are the cotton candy grapes. You can get them at like ShopRite. I think Whole Foods has the organic ones. Um, these are so good, y'all. They taste just like cotton candy. So definitely go out and try these. They're great. Now we're finally making dinner. So I'm going to make this vegetable pasta. This is just something random that I came up with. I'm just using the rest of this bag of vegetables that I had. It has zucchini, yellow squash, carrots, green beans, um, red peppers, and onions. I'm also using a little bit of crushed tomatoes in the can. Obviously, I'm not going to use the whole can today because I only have a little bit of vegetables. But you just want to put that in the pan with the vegetables and also add a little bit of oil and one clove of garlic. Turn the flame on low, stir it up a little bit, and then I'm going to cut up some peppers and add some yellow peppers and orange peppers to the mix. After that, I'm going to add all the seasonings. So I'm using nutritional yeast, chili powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, a little bit of vegetable stock, and salt and pepper to taste. This is what the vegetables look like in the pan as it's cooking. And you guys want to cook the vegetables while your pasta is cooking because the pasta is going to take a lot longer than the vegetables, obviously. So I was boiling my water already as I was seasoning the vegetables. The pasta I'm using today is this red lentil pasta. It's, it has 26 grams of protein. It's a lot healthier than regular pasta. This is just what I chose to use. And these are so weird because they look red like as you're cooking them and in the box but like once they're finished cooking it just looks like regular pasta but anyway this is how the vegetables are looking they're all done i'm just gonna plate it up you can add sauce like in the pasta if you want to or on top of the pasta after you plate it but since the vegetables that i made had a lot of flavor i feel like my pasta didn't even need sauce that's why i just put it on there plain but you could probably add sauce because i know some people don't like to eat plain pasta but yeah like you guys that. seen my breakfast my lunch my dinner and my little snack in between and my morning tea so let me know down below in the comments if you guys like this video and if you want to see more cooking videos or vegan food videos or whatever um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching another one of my videos.